love your laugh. It makes me vomit. That's my favorite part. Oh my god, that is so good. What is up, my brethren? This is Heckle TV. I am Jarvis Black. Thank you for coming back. So the first comment comes from the letter E. You are trying way too hard. That's the wrong two, but okay. And no capitalized I. All right. You're trying way too hard. I watched about 10 seconds of your intro and I was cringing. Let's watch the first 10 seconds and see if I, I haven't watched this video in a long time. <laughs> Look at that handsome guy. <sighs> Hey, Holy sexy. Shit, you guys. The story just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first 10 seconds. That's the 10 seconds that was cringy. You know, I've cringed at some of my other videos and parts of them where I've gone back and looked at them and I'm like, uh, no, but that was not cringy. This, I had spent an entire day filming an update to this case. And then when I went to go edit it, a new story had been posted. The one with the, where they had said Daily Mail said they had found the birth mother and all this stuff. That's just genuine emotion. This whole, <sighs> Holy sh You can guys. even see right here, my hand is like still on the camera. I haven't even barely hit the record button and I'm sighing and going, holy shit, <laughs> this story is crazy. I don't know. Holy sh you guys. The story just keeps getting weird. Look at those amber eyes, this gorgeous peach fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> These crooked teeth. That soul patch that somebody commented that I should get rid of. I still got it. Weirder and weirder. Where? The Dr. Film one. Now that's the one that I watched again a, a while back or I watched like the beginning of it or it auto played something. And I was like, oh, that made me cringe. Oh, here it is right here. Hey, 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 hey. Dr. Phil. Today we're talking about Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> See, now the first 10 seconds of that, kind of cringy. Maybe they were talking about this one and they just commented it on the wrong video. They were so into my playlist. They just didn't realize what video they were on because they were so entranced by me, by these eyes and so patchesness or something. I can't help it. It's so Moving on. <laughs> okay, moving on. H. Harris said, you kind of a jerk. It's not a joke. Are you just a privileged person or something? Ha ha ha. Period, exclamation point. Why would a six-year-old have records, dummy? Maybe people are fickle. Human societies take a lot of animals possessive, not people. I love your laugh. It makes me vomit emoji. <laughs> First of all, I am kind of a jerk. So even though your grammar is weird, uh, you got that right. Yeah, I am a jerk. If you haven't figured that out, my ex-wives would definitely agree with you there. Are you one of my ex-wives? Why would six-year-olds have records? They would have her birth certificate. What are, we, what are you talking? Maybe people are fickle. You know what fickle means? Right? Human societies take a lot of animals. What is that? What are the animals possessing here? Not people. For that's for sure. I love your laugh, it makes me vomit. That's my favorite part. Oh my god, that is so good. QOP13 said, At 8, I was already making my own sandwich and Nesquik chocolate milk. I used to love Nesquik when I was a kid. So much sugar. You can definitely make your own sandwich and mix up the sugar into your milk. Those are very different things than the day-to-day -day things you need to do to survive. I appreciate the Nesquik nostalgia. <laughs> Next comments from Hansen says, take a seat. They don't have any videos on their channel, so I'm pretty sure that's not the real Chris Hansen. That's a boomer. How did an eight-year-old live on their own for so long? Pretty sure Chris Hansen doesn't use numbers in the place of words either, but probably not. I think her being a boomer would be pretty, pretty big stretch. Anyway, she did have some help. So, I mean, it's possible that that's how she, if she was eight, that's how she got by. Or maybe she was just a really strong, resilient child. It, it's hard for me to imagine. I have an, a, a, a a child who's older than eight, trying to imagine them at um, the age that they're at, being able to survive on their own doesn't seem very likely to me, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe. Jessica Rabbit, probably, probably the real Jessica Rabbit, I, I would imagine. She she hasn't been around for a while. She was in that, you know, huge movie. She did, didn't like the spotlight too much. And so she's been laying low until she uh, resurfaced to comment on my video. She said, consensus has determined the Daily Mail, including its online version, dailymail.co.uk, is generally unreliable. And its use as a reference is to be generally prohibited, especially when other more reliable sources exist. Jessica Rabbit, I would agree with you. Uh, 
Um, they are not the most reputable source. And for calling that out, here is one digital carrot. <laughs> okay, oh wait, wait, Jessica Rabbit wasn't an actual rabbit, was she? That was her last name because she was married to Roger. Shit, I screwed that up. All right, Jenna Bay 2. Jenna. It's Jen. Is it Jenna? Is that like Forrest Gump? Jenna. A bum green bow. <laughs> Jenna. Jenny. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's or is it Janae? Janae. Oh, it's just it's probably Janae. Shit, I screwed that. I screwed that up too. I really don't know who to believe. There is evidence on both sides that's hard to explain away. Janae or Janae? <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally agree with you. I don't know who's telling the truth. I also feel like both sides haven't been completely honest. I'm hoping that the trials um, will shed some more light on that. Frankie Vial. Vial? Vial? Veal. Frankie Veal said, nice touch with the Mountie touch, <laughs> nice touch with the Mountie touching a beaver when talking about Canada. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. When they moved to Canada and placed their adopted daughter who was from the U. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you. MC3 News MCOC Concierge. MC <laughs> MC3 News, MCOC Concierge. She's totally 30. Your name is longer than your comment. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't I don't think we know for certain. Definitely possible. Alexander Samardzik said, no way that's her mother. Natalia has diastrophic dysplasia. And in order to have that, both of your parents need to have that condition in order, in order for you to have it. And of course, as you can see, Natalia's mom isn't a dwarf of any kind. Okay, so I looked this up and that's not exactly true. Diastrophic, I'm not sure, I'm probably not saying this right, but diastrophic dysplasia is caused by an autosomal recessive disorder on a gene called DTDST, which means that both parents must carry this abnormal gene to have a child with it. So that just means that both parents have to have this gene. And I'm not even sure if that's actually, is that actually the type of um, dwarfism that Natalia has. According to your comment, it's actually not true. They just have to have the gene. It doesn't mean that they have, that they are actually dwarves themselves. They could carry, you can carry genes and not express those genes. Just because she's not a dwarf doesn't mean, just because the mother is not a dwarf doesn't mean that that's not her mother. And last comment of the day, Charmaine Cassers, you seem so genuine. Those comments, whether negative or positive, you remain your calmness. I think you're a great person and I love watching your videos. Well, thank you, Charmaine. I love you as well. Please, please definitely come back. Uh, these nice comments always bring a smile to my face and I appreciate them and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And that's where I'm going to end the video for today. I hope you guys are healthy, happy, and safe and doing well during this trying time. I appreciate all of you. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, you know, tickle it, you know, just give a little... If you like what I'm doing here, definitely subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Let me know if you have some better insults in the comments below. I'll catch you later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the end of the video. Like and subscribe. I hope everyone is finding the toilet paper they need out there and not wiping with their bare hands or having to use Q-tips. My thoughts are with you.